Hey shooters, today we're going to talk about locking on a compensator. So, the most important thing is to get the Loctite to work. Most of the comps are titanium, most of our barrels are stainless steel. So the dissimilar metals there cause a little bit of problem with, with regular Loctite. So the Loctite to use is, is the regular standard red 262. It's not high temp, but it's high strength. We don't want high temp because if we ever have to get them off, the high temp ones are, you know, you got to get stuff too hot. It'll cause problems. So 262 is the number. Most guys just run this 262 and they don't um, set the metals up correctly. And by that I mean <clears throat> 262, if we used it to hook these two up, might take a month or, or longer to harden. So if you use the gun in between then, you'll have a problem. You also might shoot this enough with 262 to get the comp, the barrel hot and then the, the, the comp will start to rock once it's hot. So a couple things to pay attention to. One, um, this one's starting to wear off, but um, these things have expiration dates. Usually somewhere stamped in there or on the side on some of the newer ones. But make sure your, your Loctite's in date. Um, it'll only last for a year or two. So red Loctite but you got to do this. You got to get some Loctite primer. So 7649, it's an aerosol can. I already prepped this one, but you spray the the threads on the barrel just one side. We don't need to do the comp. And you're going to let that sit up for 2 minutes. Let's 2 minutes is a safe number. Then you're going to use <clears throat> the red to do the last um, 4 to 6 threads and then you're going to thread it on. And this stuff will make it lock up quick, so you got to you can't sit there and dilly-dally like you can with just regular 262. You got to go pretty quick. And then the key to all of this is let's say you shot enough where the where it got hot enough for the 262 to to loosen up a little bit. You need to have a set screw in the bottom and you should red lock tight that set screw in. So no matter what your comp is, it should have a set screw, and that's your insurance in case things lock up. So put a little dimple in your threads where the lock screw goes, and then red Loctite that in. And that's a double, that's kind of an insurance deal, but that'll ensure that you don't have any problems. So I hope that was helpful. We'll go ahead and finish this one. put on and then we'll square this up got a nice good seam I always take this and then just get my guide rod in there and make sure that that all squared up the way it was supposed to. Then we're just making sure that this all lines up just the way it's supposed to before we put that final set screw in. We look good. Doesn't look like we're going to have any problems with the guide rod movement. Plenty of clearance there. Now we're just going to dab a little red on. And I don't use primer on the, on the set screw. If you prime this, you will have trouble ever getting it off. So, depending on when you're using, really probably the only time you need this primer is for the, is for the actual barrel threads and every other, I, I really don't use that primer on anything else. But the primer sets up the metals to work correctly. So a couple things have to happen. Your Loctite's got to be in date, you know, it's still good Loctite. And you've got to have um, some primer on the dissimilar metals to get them to hook up good. Uh, I would use primer even if I was running a stainless comp on a stainless barrel. Uh, they're often different slightly different kinds of stainless and the comps just are 
things are pretty violent up there, so definitely it makes sense to um, to run that primer on there. But again, if you prime something like a grip screw, um, and so we're all set here now. If you prime something like a grip screw, you're going to have a bad day when it has to come out. So we'll just recap one last time. Um, Loctite calls it 7649, this little primer can. Prime the barrel side only. Use 262 high strength red Loctite on the, the threads. Usually you only you don't have to do all mall. You probably do you know four to eight, let's say, um, depending on how well your your threads on your comp are fitting on your barrel. And then um, then you put get everything squared up, and then you're going to put your set screw in there, and your set screw is just going to be red Loctite, no primer. And as far as the rest of the gun goes, well, we're taking a second to talk about Loctite and comps and whatnot. Blue Loctite here. Um, we run um, 638 thread locker lock, locking compound on one side of the of the um, front screws here. One one screw and the other screw we run with 262 red and we put it on there pretty healthy. The issue you have is that these screws float in those metal grips. Um, so the plastic grips, it's less of a problem, but it still happens. But in the metal grips, when they float, they um, they'll they'll turn themselves loose over time. So one side we kind of make permanent with the, or as permanent as you can with the 638, and then the other side we run the 262 pretty healthy. Um, all these screws are going to get 262, the red, uh, and then the only screw in the gun that we put blue on is is these top grip bushings get blue. Nothing on the gun side gets primer. Again, primer's only for the for the barrel for the comp. If you had something that really the threads weren't working out and they weren't locking up. You might try primer, but that would be my last resort because that's gonna that's gonna increase the the bond there quite a bit. Um, it's also gonna make it work a lot faster, so there's no setup time. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have questions, um, feel free to call us or email us. And if there's videos you'd like to see that we can do, uh, again, shoot us an email, call us. We're happy to answer questions with videos. That way, um, everybody gets the answer and not just the guy on the phone. Have a great day.